This is Ryan Pierce, host of Completely Serious. Thanks for listening to the following broadcast on Public House Media. What's up, everybody? This is Christian Heimel, host of Press Row here on Public House Media. Thanks for listening to the following broadcast on Public House Media. Once you're done with this episode, I hope you'll come check out my show, Press Row, where we talk about the biggest issues in sports with the analysts, experts, and reporters who cover them. No nonsense, hard-hitting interviews on the sports topics you're talking about. A new show comes out every single Thursday. And don't forget to subscribe on iTunes so you never miss an episode of Press Row. Thanks again for checking out the following broadcast on Public House Media. up guys welcome to your life matters podcast i'm your host dr mariah white i'm a passionate nurse practitioner and fired up health and happiness coach this podcast is meant for you to provide you a hope and a dream that fuels your soul to dream big and to dream bold to empower and inspire you to live out your wildest dreams and grab a hold onto the unwavering truth that you were made for more. All right, guys, I'm so excited you are back and I am ready to dive in deep with you. Today's podcast is about harnessing your worst day and realizing that truly it was your best day. And I know you're like, Mariah, what are you talking about? How can my worst day be my best day? It's this simple. When you sit there and you think back to literally rock bottom, the worst day of your life, I want you to think completely change that mindset. I want you to completely look at it a different way and I'm going to help guide you through. But first things first, take a second. Think about when you were you're at your absolute worst. Think about when you were truly at rock bottom. Man, it's like it was just yesterday. I can see it so clearly. I was sitting in my closet I was holding a nine millimeter in my hand with the intention of taking my life. And that's so crazy to even think that I got to that point. But I can even think about a day that was worse than that. I can think about a day in my childhood when I was sleeping in my car, when I didn't have a place to lay my head, when there would be days that I didn't have food. I think about how those are the worst days, but I truly, truly can say right now in this moment in my life that those were the best days of my life because it got me where I am today. It made me who I am today and it made me that much better when adversity and strife and hardship and hard times and things that would weigh a normal person down when it got to that point for me because of those bad days I was able to overcome in such a massive way and I want to help guide you through that same thing I want to help guide you to understand that when you went through what you went through whether it was somebody cheating on you, whether it was a divorce, whether it was a really tough relationship, whether it was your parents, whether it was a hardship growing up, whether it's a hardship you're going now, whether it's a season in your life where people completely turned their back on you, people that were supposed to love you, that were supposed to be there, that were supposed to support you. And when they saw you were going through that tough time, they walked away. Maybe it was something like that that happened for you. But let me tell you something that has to be harnessed as the best day of your life because it made you grow. You grow through what you go through. I remember saying that to you last week. Guys, that's a powerful statement. When I say you go through things in life 
that are going to challenge you. But when you look at the adversity and you look at the big picture, it's going to continue to make you a better person. I will think back to a very, very vivid memory in my mind where I was told by my mother, who I love to death, she is my mom, we don't have a great relationship, which is okay. However, I will never forget the day she told me that I was a mistake and that I never needed to be here and that she actually wished I wasn't. And I sat there and I think about that and how it goes along with abandonment issues. It went along when when my ex-husband would cheat on me. It would go along when I would go through all of these situations where people would turn their back on me and I would feel so alone and so abandoned. And I remember that feeling of, well, you weren't supposed to be here anyway. You're not loved. The person that brought you into this world doesn't even care. And I remember holding on to all of those self-limiting beliefs until one moment happened. That mindset shift of that nobody else's opinion of me matters. Nobody else's Thoughts of who I should be and who I should become matter. The only thing that matters is who I am today and how every single one of these life moments that I went through made me that better of a person. Because guess what? Sleeping in my car and having no place to truly rest my head created a sense of drive, created a sense of ability to get through the tough times. It created this unwavering belief that no matter how bottom I get, I will always get back up. I will always find a way to overcome a tough situation. That is what the worst day gave me. I realized that day when I decided to put the gun down and not pull the trigger that I realized through that worst day that my life had meaning, my life had purpose, and that my mess was going to soon become my message and my story freaking mattered. That is what happens from your worst day when you shift your mindset. So this is what I need for you to do today. This is your homework. I need you to write down when your worst days were. And I'm not telling you you're just going to have one. I've already given you three examples of three awful worst days for me. You're going to have plenty. But I want you to channel instead of looking at those worst days and saying, man, I didn't learn anything. It didn't get me better. I want you to really think, put your heart into this and realize that when you had to go through some shitty times that you overcame it. And this is how I know you did because you're listening to this podcast, that you still have breath in your body and somehow, some way you are still getting it done. But I promise you, if you choose to do this activity, if you choose to write down your worst day and how you overcame it and how you made it to who you are today and how it made you a better person, I promise you, you'll look at those worst days, they'll become the best day and it'll shift your mind to where you freaking know that you are unstoppable because it is the truth. You are unstoppable in your dreams, in your vision, in your mission, in your purpose, and in the story that is built within you to then have you share it with others. Your story matters. Your worst day, somebody else needs to hear it. The reason why I share so openly with you on this podcast is because somebody needed to hear that I was willing to give up on life, that somebody needed to hear that my own mother too said the same things. Somebody needed to hear that never even knew that yes, I struggled and had to be homeless for a period of time to figure out my stuff. Somebody needed to hear that because your worst day is still your best day. This isn't about comparison. This isn't about a highlight reel. It is about helping you figure out how to channel certain things in your life to propel you forward. So soul sisters, that is your homework. That is what I need you to get down to the nitty gritty. I need you to dive in deep, figure out your worst day, and change it. Change that mentality and help it become your best day. Because guess what? When you do that, 
you will become completely unstoppable.